Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's get back into it. So, we have this great hunt that we're supposed to be preparing for. So let's prepare for it. In the name of the Bridge Alliance. And finding a cure for the Malachor. Say, in truth, I fear being dust, waiting to settle on the earth. What has happened to you? Why such despair? My eyes have clouded. I see no more, nothing at all. I was once the great gatherer. But by the devils, why have they sent a blind man to gather herbs? No one yeah, knows. Why? I said nothing to them. I know my village so well that I do not need to see to wander through it. But I can no longer gather the herbs of the sacred dye. I know they are here in these woods, but I cannot find them. Mm. Sermon Padir. Let's prepare to gather for him. Very well. Can you tell me which plants you need? If you are certain that they are somewhere in this patch of woods, it won't be difficult. But how am I to guide you? The names we give to these plants are not the same as the names you give them. You describe, describe them, to, them me. to me. I think I'll find them. One is a blue flower, the other a green mushroom, and the last ingredient is a blackberry. Very well. Don't go anywhere. I will take care of it. So no, one of them is nightshade. Blue flowers. So many flowers to gather. I mean, I'm sure we already have a bunch of these already. I am back, Padilla. Yes. Yeah, so we already had the herbs. herbs that you were looking for. Here. Thank you. You are good for a Nike, I did not know your kind bore souls such as you. I may return to the village now. I will tell them that you're on your way. Thank you again. Uh, but I ask you, do not tell them what you have learned about me. I do not wish that they treat me like a broken cripple. Goodbye, Padir. <laughs> But, I mean, it's kind of need to know information, I think. I don't know if we should tell them or not. I guess not. It's not our business. It's not our job to fix this situation. Looking where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind. So, what do we do? Do not have the required talent level? Craftsmanship level one? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, it really takes craftsmanship to be able to hang those bells up higher. Really? 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 Fuck you, game. Fuck you. For making no sense.
The base of this bell is damaged. That's why it no longer makes a sound. I need to build a new one. Maybe we can go to a craftsman and do it. I hope. I'll prepare the bells, I'll prepare the bells, I'll prepare the bells, I'll prepare the bells. Okay. So yeah, let's go do this other side mission. If we can get down there. <sighs> Game, you're making it way harder than it needs to be. I hope we can just use a craftsman to repair those bells. I don't want to have to try to level up enough to get the bells. Maybe we don't need to do all the side missions. It may have to be one that we have to skip. Because let's be honest, I haven't crafted anything except quest items. take them all on myself. I don't need my companion's help. Uh -huh. Now, what is this thing? Engraved symbol. Found it. Okay. Let's go see if we can repair the bells via a craftsman. First, let's make sure there's no, like, time limit. No? Ah, so we only need to do two to gain the villager's trust. Okay, cool. Wait a minute, there's a fox over here that I needed to kill for that one mission. I'm sorry, fox, I don't want to. Where did he go? He disappeared. Alright, where is this crossing point at? It's here somewhere. Right here. So we're going to have to go all the way to a blacksmith in a different town just to see if we can craft some stupid bells. Because I have a feeling that like whatever we can't craft can't be crafted by a blacksmith. That's how it seems to go anyways. With some extra gold. Alright. 
Actually, we might be just be able to... Eat. There's got to be a blacksmith in Hikmet, right? I assume there would be. Hey, Petrus. Still not a part of the party yet. Mental power four, agility four. Yeah. I need to increase my uh, mental power, man. Get a better magic ring. I haven't upgraded my equipment in a little while. I feel like it needs to be upgraded soon. I guess that's why this is where being a jack of all trades tends to hurt you more than to help you. Alchemist? What does an alchemist do? At the fiery blasts, you'll find the quintessence. Greetings. I immediately spotted that you are a real science enthusiast. I have all the potions you could ever dream of. And other things, too. We also sell ingredients, and we even craft on demand. So, what would you like? Have something crafted. Involves antidote. So it's all... Okay. So we do need to go to the blacksmith in New Serene. The alchemist isn't going to help us any. Alright. Where's my resident at? That would just be faster to fast travel. Right here. The only brick house in this whole city. The Sardai residence? Yeah, sure. So once we get the bells crafted, assuming that we can craft them, then we'll go back. If we can't craft them, then we'll just go back anyways. Finish out that quest. And then we will do the rest of this main quest that's in New Serene. The one that we prematurely did earlier. I wonder how much different it's going to be now that we did Curse Quest. And I wonder if it's going to be any different... Oh, I'm following the quest marker, haha. I wonder if it's going to be any different... Having done the Bridge Alliance main quest too. Closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Tear for the alcohol. Tear for the alcohol. Oh, Sounds good. delicious. Like a oh, it's a great pleasure. Metal dowels. Damn it. All right. Well, guess the bells aren't getting repaired. That's a shame. One armor that fits you like it. Oh, it's a great. Do you have anything new for me that I can wear? Oh, your quality suck, dude. You do not make high quality stuff. One armor that fits you like a glove. Greetings, my carousel. Actually, let's thank you, but I'll not because those only go to the major cities, they don't go to the villages.
All right. Oh, that was a waste of time. Really big island that it takes a full day to tra travel from one side to the other. I'm sure we'll lose points of the natives because we didn't crap we didn't fix the bells, but whatever. We have enough points of the natives that we should be good. You are here again. I found Padir. He should be along shortly. Whatever made him take so long. He is not a man to be bothered by the beasts. Uh, uh that's Just uh, that sounds better. Let's do that. <laughs> that poor Padir fell asleep under a tree. Age, I suppose. It seems like it would be the right time for him to take on an apprentice, someone to help him on his walks. If one day I'm as old as that man, I hope to run into someone like you, Desarde. You are Thank you, completely Basco. right. It would be a shame that such great wisdom be lost. I thank you, Renaixen. Your acts are as beautiful as your words. You are welcome here, and I hope you find the Tjarna Hach Kadachtas. Yay! So that turned out way better than I thought. I felt bad because I felt like I should have said something, but it's also not my place to say anything, but that turned out better than I thought it was going to be. Ongos? What do you want, Renaixi? I found your seal. It was indeed near the river. My heart thanks you. You are a Renegse like no other. The Tierna Hachadaktas would have been angry if I had lost it. The Tierna Hachadaktas went into the sacred bosque. She goes often there to meditate. And where could I find this bosque? To the west of the village, into the heart of the woods. There is a passage between the rocks that gives access. Be wary. This is an untamed place where the animals are wild and numerous. Sounds good I to me. Leave. Sounds like my kind of place. So. We didn't gain the villagers' trust all the way. We had to do that one. That's freaking stupid, man. Whatever. Like, good game development requires that main quest stuff isn't blocked by certain skills because that's just bad design that's really bad design what the you're just sleeping with them Welcome here, Nixon. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Desarde. I'm a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Nev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could she want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I am not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be... You must share with us the formula. 
Too many lives are at stake. You come here to my home, and you command me to help you. Arrogance. Renoixe. Yeah, Please let me us. handle this. I beg your pardon. We have seen so many people die of this affliction. Forgive this affront. Her face resembles ours, but she does not know our customs. But her intentions are pure. She truly seeks a remedy for her people. And what is a Donegad of our people doing with these invaders? What do you seek in their company? Understanding, Tierna. And to learn for the good of our people. You truly think there is anything the Renaixe could teach of any value? They come here to rape our lands, as did those who came before them long ago. This miraculous cure that we heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me, but I will not be used like some puppet. You're not being used like a puppet. I did not ask for this. This is not how this was supposed to go. How did we not gain the villagers' trust? Did we royally fuck this up? We may have royally fucked that up. But there's no other way, like... I'm not gonna get another point to put into... My... Seer. Yeah. Yeah, next point at level 29. I'm level 26. That's three levels away. There's no fucking way in hell am I gonna wait to get one point into craftsmanship that I'm only gonna use once in the entire game. Fuck that. So I think this is just... I'm gonna have to accept this royal fuck up. I don't like to accept this royal fuck up. I hate that the game is forcing me to do this. I really, really hate that. From the very bottom of my soul, I fucking hate that. But... I have no choice. When life gives you lemons. You make shitty lemonade. This is gonna go horribly. I just know it. She's gonna get hurt and we're gonna break our promise and we're gonna be enemies of this clan. And it's going to be terrible. Interwoven and taut, that it's impossible to get through them. Find a way to enter the holy place. Okay. There is a residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt of it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? Do you have any ideas? A bomb or a potion won't be enough to destroy these roots. They're incredibly thick. It is a rather vulgar method for locking down a passage, but remarkably... She efficient. knows something. I apologize. But I have no idea how to help you. When in tear for D, do like the tear for Deans do. You need to think like them. They prefer magical rituals to mechanisms, and nature is at the center of their universe. You need to place something on this altar, but I have no idea what would be the proper offering. Siora would certainly know what to do. She is a Denegad, after all. Thankfully, we brought her. These roots protect a sacred passage that the Donegada wants not just anyone to take. You are correct to believe the steely 
is bound to the entrance. You need to make an offering. In general, you place a seed of a particular plant chosen by the Donega that sealed the grotto. How to know which seed to place? And where would we find one? The easiest way is to ask someone who has already passed through the passage. There is a good chance that the Voglendike has already taken it with his mistress and could help us. Thank you, Siora. Your wisdom has been a great help to us. All right. Yay! We don't have to run all the fucking way back. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hakkadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, you fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? Let's try to convince him. We got a 75% chance. I promise. If this fails, I'm no gonna be harm. mad. I just need to expose as best I can the problem at hand. Her help is truly necessary. Thousands of lives are at stake. Tell me more. My people have fallen prey to a serious illness which has almost certainly taken my own mother by now. If we do not quickly find a remedy, we shall all follow her to the grave. But the Tiana Hakadactus can help us. We are sure of that. She will know of a remedy able to heal this sickness that plagues us. Your quest seems noble Yay. and with great respect for the life of all. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time, but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hakkadaktas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? Have stories of the Nadaig been shared with you? In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes, I even encountered one. More she than one. Magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. Okay. That's the closest, really. Oh. I'm supposed to search. So this is the house. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. These skulls symbolize the animals. Through some rituals, we greet them. We thank them for feeding and dressing us, so that the next hunting season, they will once again give us the weak amongst their herds. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. Yeah, I'm totally treating our place with respect. Look at that flower last. All these crushed plants and these powders. She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. <sighs> to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. With more time, I could study all of these components and perhaps... I doubt that Ongos will give us a chance to study this. We need to find the Tiena Hack. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing, though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. Uh, the Donegada use these symbols amongst themselves, and only they understand their meaning. 
It is a secret and sacred language. I cannot reveal to you what the bark contains without breaking my bond. Can you at least tell me if they speak of a passage? A seed? No. I would have told you. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the root passage. Hmm. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it has lost its seeds. I've already come across this flower. It is very rare, even for such an island as Tirfredi. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage. All right, sounds good to me. Let's get to searching. Tiena Hakadactus finds the seeds that we're looking for. Using seeds as keys. It's a strange idea, but an interesting one. Perhaps, but this flower is usually rare. I've never seen such a great number of them in the same place. Let's hope that these are the flowers we're looking for. Only one way to find these out. flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tiena Hack, and they bear seeds. Those are the offering seeds we need to open the root passage. We should go try them. A seed to part the roots. I'll admit that it is poetic, but completely defies all logic. Yep. It is truly pastoral. Seeds, knotted roots. Oh, how I miss the ocean. We have what we need. Let's go back to the stone steely. All right, let's run all the way back over. Yay, more running. It's what we love to do in this game. to go south. So south we shall go. Now west. And then north. Continue on with the quest. And there. Ooh la la. What's gonna be in this cave? You wanna take bets? I bet it's an uh, Nadaig. I bet it's actually two Nadaigs. Oh, what an amazing place. I'd love to have enough time to explore it. I might discover some secrets of the natives' exceptional knowledge. It looks very ancient. I wonder what treasures it contains. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Diana Hakadatus is quite the head start. Well, telling these creatures can't be helped.
somehow I feel like this is gonna end in a potion that doesn't actually cure anything. Or rather, it cures a lot, but just not the Malachor. That's what I feel like is gonna happen. What's down here? Wait a minute. We have two ways to go. I guess this is probably like the exit. So let's go... Let's go back to the main entrance way. Because I feel like we're gonna come back this way again. Eventually. There's a chasm here. I need a bit of practice. Okay then, so we do go all the way around. Yay. Oops. So this entire quest is locked behind skills. That's fucking dumb. I kind of have a feeling that killing these creatures is not respecting the cavern. Man, there's a lot of different ways to go. A lot of different interwoven paths. works. Man, this is a really big chasm. Level up. Wait a minute, we have two points? Interesting. Oh, next up is the bomb. Where is this taking us? I can't do that. Oh man. You need all sorts of skills to be able to travel this area. So this is where Jack of All Trades comes in handy. But how the hell would you be a Jack of All Trades in a place like this? Like, I am a Jack of All Trades and I still can't do most of this stuff. Not even using mods to help with XP and everything. Stay back. I go? Where is she? Do I need to go back outside? <sighs> Do I really need to go back outside? Oh my god. 
This sucks so much. Ancient woods. Okay. Someone went through here. In fact, I think I can see several different tracks. I hope that she did not hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be a mad eye here. We should be careful. We will, Sira. Don't you worry. I'll protect you, baby. Yep, only one way to go. We can finally set up the last camp. Woohoo! Oh no, it's not the last camp. Damn it. Oh no. This is not good. What did you do, you fucker? You fucker! Why would you do this? Okay, now I see why there's a war between the natives and the bridge alliance. Is she gonna bind herself as an Adag? Oh man. There we go. There's the Nadag. Alright. This is a powerful ass Nadag. This is gonna be quite a fight. Oh shit, he took out half my health in one... one attack. Just chip away at the armor. Just chip away at the armor. Take advantage of the glitch. Take advantage of the glitch. Ah, shit. Damn it, I keep drinking too many health potions. Or mana potions, I'm not wanting to. There we go. I'm guessing nah means no. We didn't want this fight. What the hell, man? Why? Why? 
in order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us. Can I kill this asshole? Of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I yeah. don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. Good. I'm glad I get to kill this asshole. Mercy, Your Excellency. I surrender. I want to kill him so badly. I want to kill him so fucking badly. I really, really, really do. But it's not the diplomatic way. I have to go against my better nature, swallow my pride, and I have to spare his ass. But I really don't want to. He deserves to die for killing her needlessly. He was such an asshole. He hunted her down and just shot her in the back as she was running away. He... He deserves death. And treating her as if she was a creature. He even called her a creature. But she's a human being. She's a person. Ugh, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this, guys. I really, really don't want to do this. But fuck it. Swallow my pride. You're Let's do it. nothing more than a henchman. It is your governor that is going to have some explaining to do. Off with you, and make sure our paths never cross again. Thank you, Excellency. You will never see me again. Oh my god. This is not going to go over well. Tian Hak? She is unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We have to leave now. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. She does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. The man that shot you is in no condition to come back and bother you. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. Even I would have preferred knowing the men dead. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try? We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them. Bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. 
The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is okay. strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name, Enon Mil Frigdimen. The divinity of the natives, or the spirit of this island, if I've understood This god protects his people, I hear that. But why create a sickness that would decimate an entire continent? The natives consider him a god, but I am sure that there must be a rational explanation. It is, in any case, an entity with capacities that as of yet we fail to comprehend and fail miserably. But it's <laughs> ridiculous to think that he created a sickness so complex that it touches the people of the continent alone. The yeah. God of a Thousand Faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. That's right. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago. A lot longer than we first thought. The Malachor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, are they not the reason the first guardians of the native legends appeared? Whatever, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy as of yet, he will be happy to know that we have made progress. But we definitely need to talk to the governor. We also need to explore the rest of this area. Or I guess, no, there is no way to explore the rest of that area. For now, anyways. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save talking to the governor of the Bridge Alliance for another episode. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I've been the lovely Miss Scarlet Pox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.